You're listening to The Angry Designer, where we cut through the industry bowl to help frustrated graphic designers survive and thrive. Give it a go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're here. We're here. <laughs> yeah, so um, Easy Rock's not that cool. <laughs> no, it is I don't know. not. I, I, again, I, that song has been stuck in my head. <laughs> And, uh, well, here, cheers, my friend. Oh, cheers, salute. cheers, cheers. Cheers, salute. Yeah, that song's been stuck in my head all day. And um, <laughs> it's an okay song. I you know, don't in, mind it. In the house of yeah. stone <laughs> and light. Yeah. I don't, but then it's like, what else have you done, buddy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Martin just, Page, never heard of it. A little on the weak side, yes. you know? Unfortunately, that dude needed to, uh, he needed to grow his career a little <laughs> he more. He certainly did. And there's definitely <laughs> other ways to do that. But uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. For sure, um, yes. Yeah, but, you know, Easy Rock is, is you know... I like that song. Yes. But then when I found out it was Easy Rock, <laughs> it just title. sounded like all of a sudden not cool to listen to. Like, do you have you officially become old when you start saying, I just, because there's just Easy yes. Rock stations. Yes. Yeah. Dude. And it's funny because uh, a friend of mine, he's, he he was playing this Yacht Rock playlist. <laughs> yacht Rock? Yacht Rock. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. Okay. But it's like easy easy uh, rock has more of a low end kind of thing but yacht rock is for the yuppies and all the rich oh. people <laughs> oh my god oh. you know cause you own a boat so yacht rock <laughs> Whoa, what about the trailer rock right trailer rock that's They're, just like that you know that's skid a, row yes. kid rock you <laughs> yeah. know maybe throw in some saliva yeah. <laughs> there you go oh that's alright but see yes. the, the trailer rock trailer is very rock. different than hard rock <laughs> totally wow yes how'd that just happen <laughs> but so ultimately i've been listening to this song all day and i just realized it was not cool in fact it yes. was not so quietly we can tell people <laughs> it's cool yeah but publicly <laughs> no we it's shame it okay <laughs> say no to easy rock yeah. i have a i have a friend cheers, buddy. cheers i have a friend who says uh he, he, there's no such thing as a guilty pleasure if you like it oh. you like it and i'm like yeah, because I was asking him, uh, what's what's his guilty pleasure? <laughs> this, I would say, would be your guilty pleasure. But no, no if, if 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 that's what guilty pleasure is, then mine would be Aqua. Aqua, <laughs> Barbie girl. I can listen to that all day long. But Every, it's catchy. Oh, I was just gonna say, <laughs> it was a fun album, though. It was like it, was it, it, Ace of Base. When you hear that, no, that was guilty. Or Ace of Base. Oh, yeah, that was only. another one. <laughs> Oh, I got the sign. (laughs) Oh my God! Those are really, really catchy songs. Oh, they really were, right there. There was a good time in like you know, like eighties, no nineties, nineties there, where there was some just fun music, and it just, just really okay. Then came the the whole dark, depressive area, Kurt Cobain shit, the whole Seattle scene, which you know, cool, yeah, but it's really depressing. But it's really depressing. It was, it was hard because that was when I was like total peak single, you know, and I was like. Trying to pick up babes everywhere yeah. I went. <laughs> and you'd go to a club. And if it was a you know Seattle hard rock club, it's just like impossible. Nobody wanted to. <laughs> but you went to these fun places. The fun places. And, and everybody, everybody was just having a good time. Jeez, yeah. right. Yes. And it was so much easier to meet people exactly. back then. Exactly. Funny. Right? Oh, exactly. going back to meeting. Cool. Yeah. So needless to say, welcome everybody to yes. the Angry Designer. Woohoo! Um, my name is Massimo. My name's Sean. Hey, welcome. Welcome, um, welcome. Yeah, so we're having a lot of fun here, of course, and we've got some interesting topics to jump into tonight, but mm-hmm. uh, I just wanted everybody to know that uh, the Angry Designer today was number four. <gasps> In Canada for marketing blogs. What? Yeah, we actually hit number four. Number four. I mean, again, okay, we got a long way to go in the U.S., but for Canada, that's Whoa. that's actually pretty freaking cool. Ooh, that's man. really good. Like, and again, and it wasn't just for graphic design because I think for graphic design, we're always in the top five, oh, right? Okay. If not number one, when people search, right? Graphic design podcast, right? right. But just but under the generic marketing, Ooh. that's impressive. <laughs> that's I, really I thought good. that was kind of you know, and that's only until the people from Apple will listen to our podcast <laughs> and they'll be like, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, I don't yeah. think so, guys. Forget Let's Let's yeah. bump you down a bit. <laughs> and uh, and while we were Bastards. number four in Canada, we were number two in a country called Myanmar. 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 Wow. Mi- 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 Myanmar. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Myanmar. Mi- so to those mi- three mi- listeners over yeah. there, <laughs> thank no, you. That's like a hugely populous country. Is I it? Think. Really? Yeah. It's like um, what is it like? Uh, oh, like 
uh, Indochina, like down, oh, like thought around thought in so. there. Like, I kind of thought so. Yeah, yeah. How cool is that? Though? That's that's awesome. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> now maybe it was clickbait. Maybe it was by <laughs> accident. <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if it was like millions of people? Oh my god, be, that would be high fives all around. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> so by all means, Ooh. please, you know, check out. You know, you're obviously listening to the podcast, so yeah. you found us here. Yeah. But don't forget to uh, leave us a review if you like what you hear today. Mm-hmm. You know, drop us a line on Instagram. Say hi. Um, follow us. We've always we're teasing out our shows we're throwing clips from other shows yeah. um and we're also on youtube so yeah. check us out over there and you can actually see these uh, beautiful mugs yeah that's right, right eh? <laughs> and weigh in on martin page yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> martin page in the, in the house of stone yeah. and light if everybody likes that song yeah, let us know yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it is to say his career probably didn't could have gone further. It could have it could have been better. He, if, he, yes, I don't know. I yeah. think so. Anyway, poor guy. Like, he really didn't get out to enough uh, to enough didn't, people, right? He didn't he get, didn't get his, out. His his, his nope. exposure wasn't as big. As, that's exactly. <laughs> that's wow, eh? So that is kind of funny because that's kind of what we're here to talk yeah, about oh, today, yes, right? Yes. Conveniently yes. enough, and yeah. and what was the other? We just had a couple <laughs> little opportunities here, but you know, like yeah. you know, somehow or another, we we started just talking talking about what networking. Yes, everything's opening yes. up. Right. right. Like um, COVID is, is, you know, hopefully behind us now. Yeah, hopefully. You know, it seems like everything moving forward just looks like, you know, colds, flus, you know, can mm-hmm. be nasty. But so things are starting to open up again. Yeah. And yeah. you're seeing events, you're seeing trade shows. Yes. Right. Yes. And so um, for some people, this is going to be their first time out. Yeah. For a lot of people, it's like returning to some of these old things, right? Mm-hmm. Returning to networking events, meetups, new opportunities, trade shows and stuff. Yeah. So this is like a whole new thing for, um, you know, it feels like it's all new just because we've been so cooped up. Uh, totally, right? Like right? It's, it's it's almost like, what's it going to be like getting reintegrating with people again? Right? <laughs> That's exactly it, right? And and again, it's like we remember what it was because for a little while, everything was forced to like yes. network online. There's and I'm sorry. Yes. I, yeah. I tried some of these events. Yes. It they sucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was not good. And they would they would gamify it, yeah. right? So yeah. you'd see like a little show floor, and you'd see a stage <laughs> and this, and then these little these little bubbles <laughs> pop, 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 would show up with people's faces. People's faces in there. It, it was it was like a bad video game. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, it didn't I tried work real but, hard. I mean, no, I mean, yeah, it, and you did what you had to do. Yes. But I think I think it was just you know I don't know how successful they were. I mean, obviously you know certain apps like Zoom and everything did really well, but the yes. virtual ones I don't know how how well they they yeah. tried they yeah. tried, and yeah. I mean you know. We had a customer who had, um, you know, three consecutive years, mm-hmm. and the the second of the third year was actually a huge success. Yes, and the third year was like a hybrid. They yes. did an in person, yes. and they did the virtual. Right, but the virtual was basically they recorded everything and then replayed it, you know, in, in kind of in sequence, and yes. and they opened it up. But I mean, people did what they had to, mm-hmm. right? So they mm-hmm. did what they had to do those during those times. Now it's back, yeah. and now we've got to get back out there. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I don't know if this is something that was easy for graphic designers. I don't know if this was something easy for design or just for people in just general. Just for people in general. Yeah, I, I don't know. I that that The jury's still out on that. Yeah. We'll look back on this in 10 years and see if, if this kind of virtual networking is going to be a, a, a thing, like a real well, thing. Well, you know, know, good point. Because, I mean, again, I think, you know, the, the tides are turning again. Yes, yes. I do think that, you know, while LinkedIn was huge and it was hot for a while, right, mm-hmm. the whole digital, you know, you just hit it up, hit it up, and then get, get your portfolio on here and get on this platform there and start being interactive and social mm-hmm. you know that's a little different kind of networking than the real person face-to-face exactly. networking events right exactly um yes. so i mean you know while it, there's still huge important to you know have an online presence mm-hmm. it's it's the real life networking that really that matters huge yes it's massive and it doesn't mean that your your real life can't grow virtually because a yeah. lot of people work from home and they're still working their networks but there is a human component yeah. that has to be done outside of digital right yeah, exactly. i mean ultimately you have to network yeah. to continue to grow, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, to further your career, to get new clients, to to to, to get your business out there, right? Mm-hmm. Like you do have to network. It's like that that evil necessity, yeah, right? That yeah. we just yes, yeah. And I mean, again, and some some of the events are cool, and and some are not. But I mean, ultimately, you're constantly out there putting your name out there. I mean, you're looking for exposure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, right? Which, totally, you totally. know, if our buddy Martin Page did a little bit more, maybe he'd still be singing in the House of Stone and Light. But, um, you know, like really, it's like you need to push that exposure thing yes. um, a little bit each time, right? And exposure to get new clients, exposure yeah. to, you know, get your portfolio out in front of more people. Right. Right? Um, yeah. Get your name out or your exposure within an industry. It's just like this ongoing battle that, yeah. you know, like it or not, you have to do it. Mm-hmm. But, it doesn't mean that there's only one way to do it. That's true. And I think that's that's the challenge. That was the challenge 
for me as a designer, 100%. Yes. Yeah. Right? Because, again, it's just there is no one size fits all. Right. Right. But uh, in all fairness to us learned gentlemen who've mm-hmm. been around <laughs> for quite a, quite some time, there wasn't who a lot We used to of listen to Martin Page <laughs> yeah, and Easy Rock. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we had our mullets. And, you know. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, maybe not in 2000, but anyway, uh, or the 90s. But, yes, yes, he uh, you did. Know, he did. <laughs> these, these are the things, you know, there's a whole different game opened up to kids nowadays, right? Yeah. We didn't I think have so. LinkedIn or that kind of thing. It was Well, it's true. It was full on And that little space in the middle, I think that yeah. COVID space made a difference. But mm-hmm. I mean, for everybody who's been to these these networking events, mm-hmm. right? The things usually the memories you yeah. know, that come up are just like, it's like, it's like a random, you know, room. People are drinking, yeah, yeah. you know, everybody's got a freaking name it tag. My name uh, is- yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's like, literally like, it was like, almost like, you know, you were like 18, uh, you know, at, at the bar and you're just trying to get as many numbers from, exactly. from, you know, women or guys or whatever, yes. you know, like it was a conquest kind it, of situation. It is. Yeah. And it's like, people would go. And so that's the impression. Yeah. And that sucks. Right. Cause yeah. I, and, and, and like, and you want to talk about like a slap in the face, you go to some of these network events and you know, somebody comes to you and they're all like full of energy and they're all charming and they're like hey how are you I'm so so and you're like oh yeah my name is it's like oh so what do you do right, like right off the bat like no foreplay no yeah. nothing just get right into it and you're just like oh um you know I, I'm a graphic designer yeah oh oh, oh, oh. how long have you been doing it oh yeah. well, just started you know I'm in third yeah. third year in oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay well it's nice meeting you see yeah. you man yeah. <laughs> And they go because it was like, because yeah, I, I don't get anything from you. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because that's the impression. It, right. It's like, and that's that fear, that yes. ultimate fear of rejection. Yes. That it's like, and it happens not once, it happens all the time at these yes. fucking events. And yeah. that's what I can't stand them. Yes. Oh, I know. Shit. This is true. Like when that happens, it's like, like the breakfast networking meetings, mm. right? I used to do these things. I tried oh, these. So I've tried everything. I, I feel like I've tried everything. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm a networking <laughs> slut. Um, <laughs> it's true. Hey, we can't slut shame here. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. No, that's no good. Oh, that's right. That's right. We love sluts. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I mean, like these network breakfast meetings, yeah. okay, were like, it was, you, you would, you would basically try to, you know, get into this group. And, yeah. they, and they would always be like, it's a closed group. It's a closed it's group. It's a closed group. <laughs> so you have to apply to be in it. And if we have somebody in your space, that's great, right? And okay, mm-hmm. you get there, you finally make it in. It's a group of like 20 people that meet for breakfast once a week. Right. And then there's all this pressure because you find out, you know, like the topics, they usually have somebody talk, mm-hmm. but then it turns out to be a sales pitch. <laughs> okay. They're trying to sell you insurance right. often. <laughs> yes. Oh, these insurance people are really hardcore. <laughs> and, um, and then, and then it was like, all of a sudden it's like, okay, well now we're onto the leads portion. I'm yes. like, okay, well this is interesting. The it's leads. like, okay. Okay, portions. so who who has leads today? And oh so somebody's like, oh, I have three leads for Sean. And they would get mm. up and they'd walk over and hand it over to Sean. Yeah. And then it's just, and I'm sitting there watching these people. And it's like, dude, I'm I'm here to get leads for myself. <laughs> yes. And you're trying to, and I was trying I to understand this. this. They were like working and hustling to try to get leads for everybody else in the group. <laughs> and it wasn't based on anything. That's the problem. Because mm. I mean, nobody knew anybody. Yes. So it was just constantly giving these blind leads, which again, might work if you're an insurance guy yeah. or a car salesman or something like that. But yeah. for what we do, the it's, kind of service that, you know, graphic designers do, it just, it didn't work. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's a little too generic. It I, was, yes. Yes. Like, honestly, generic networking events. Mm-hmm. I fucking hate them. <laughs> like they are always <laughs> surface thin. Yes. You talk about the most bullshit stuff, right? right? Like there is no substance to it. And honestly, it's like, that's, that's the whole thing that people get nervous about are mm-hmm. these generic events that yeah. are, they're specifically meant for networking, but it's like, it's so general and yeah. so generic. Yeah. It's literally pointless. Yeah. And it's like, it, it is, it, you know what? You'd probably get better results going to a bar <laughs> because at least you have expectations, right? <laughs> like there's something there because again, yeah. I don't, I don't find other than the fact that everybody apparently is in business. Well, at a bar, everybody's in business too. True. Different kind of business, but yeah. you know, everybody's yeah. out to get somebody. At least it's a little bit more honest at a bar. <laughs> this is true. You yeah, know, exactly. and that's, that's the part that it's like, you know, you, Give people free booze and a name tag and you tell me what's going to happen, right? Exactly. Like, it's nothing more than a waste of time. At least it's if we're doing this at a bar, yeah. somebody might get lucky. Yeah. <laughs> or you might have fun. You, you might have, have some, fun. Yeah, got you, good music in the background. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Honestly, I felt um, like that the douche that I just talked about, like, <laughs> those are the people that, you know, they have these these um, businesses yeah. that are literally just based on numbers. They're just leads. Right. Blank leads, right? Yes. And we are a little bit different. 
we're designers. Yes. Right. We can't just just grab it, it for us. It's not a shotgun approach. No. It doesn't work. No. Right. We are. We have to be a little deeper. We have to be a little bit more targeted. It's that pesky empathy thing that we always <laughs> deal with. You <laughs> know designer, what I mean? Like, right. It's always getting everywhere. You know. Seriously. What I mean? <laughs> right. And I mean, while I am a capitalist in every way, okay, and I, I'm, it's okay to you know There's make money. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. I'm not an opportunist. Oh. I'm not going to oh. these kind of events yes. and just have one thing in mind. You know, what can I get from you? Hi, right. hi, my name is yeah. Mosman. What can I get from you? Yes, you know, exactly. you got something from me because otherwise I'm not wasting my time for you. Yes. I, it, it, it was it was really disheartening yeah. every single time I'd go to one of these. Yeah, because these things are so predatory. Oh, like people oh, are just perfect. Yes. You know, people are just like, oh, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to bring this dude out and, and get whatever I can or this person, this woman, you know, is just like, yes. That's it. We're not, we don't operate. We're like not. This. And we're not made to handle this kind of stuff. Yes. So honestly, it was after doing this and being, uh, feeling like being rejected time and time and time yes. again. It's almost like a dating thing, geez, right? <laughs> r- reminded me of my teenage years. <laughs> but um, needless to say, uh, I gave up like yeah. in, entirely. There was a span. I didn't go to a single networking event. I had wow. to figure this out because I knew it was an important part of business. Mm. But it was also, it was really, and this was early on in my career, of course. This yeah. definitely was, or in Zed Factor's career. Mm-hmm. But I knew I had to get out there. I knew I had to. So I had to figure out what was going to work for me. Right. That's why it doesn't work for most designers, this I think. Yes. Because again, you know, designers, we're not business savvy in the no. same sense as some of these other people. No. And we've talked about this already yes, before. Exactly. We, we're not a leads kind of based no, thing. Right? You know, there's not there's not a, a, a tangible like numbers that we have to accumulate like in sales right. kind of thing. Absolutely, yes, right? Yes. Like this whole, by nature, we dig deeper. Mm-hmm. We ask questions. We, we want to go. So when all of a sudden you're forced to just kind of like communicate on a surface level yeah. it doesn't work yes. right yes. you need that deeper connection exactly. not just all about numbers exactly. so literally um like i think that's when you know i gave up on totally and i had to rethink mm-hmm. you know how i was going to start networking and then what i did end up doing is i changed what i was ne- networking for mm. okay and then i stopped being selfish and thinking it was like just all this business and i started to rethink well, what, what do i really want to get out of these things mm-hmm. right and this is when i was like starting to be a little bit more genuine Right. And I knew I wasn't going to sit there and and chances are go to a networking event and land a customer. Yeah. Right. Realistically, I I just kind of I knew that wasn't going to happen. So but I knew that this was a long game. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I was just being a lot more genuine and I was going in for deeper conversations. I would be happy. I would sometimes go to an event and just talk to a single person for like the whole night. And I left satisfied. Right. I was fulfilled. Yes. I made a good connection. Yeah. Right. I found a good impression on that person, too. Probably They left afterwards. Right. We connected, you know, afterwards here, there. Right. And while I maybe didn't get business from that person that Mm -hmm. lead right they were happy to refer me because i literally gave all my time to this person or these two people like the whole night right so i was i changed my approach right it was more not quantity of Mm -hmm. conversations right but the quality quality. of the conversations right so this is something i like to refer to as deep networking (laughs) deep networking deep oh going deep buddy going deep (laughs) no but it's true it was like it's it's a different kind of approach yes and it worked well for me because again i needed to connect right and so um you know you'd have more meaningful conversations they weren't surface thin you got to know people and what they started doing is it started giving me this breadth of information Mm -hmm. on all these new things that I didn't know about, yeah. right? And it was it was that whole curiosity part. And another thing see, we're we're always on. right, <laughs> and and that's that's what I was feeding was yeah. the curiosity. Yes. Well, what is it with your business? How mm. does your business work? Wow, that's amazing. What are your struggles? Right? Yes. We would talk, and then all of a sudden we'd talk about kids or life yes. or schools or, yes. or challenges in general talked about the event and why it sucked and why we were having a better time sitting at a table chatting, right? Like it was just, it was more about asking them instead yeah. of like what, you know, what you can do for me or, or right. It was more like, like yeah. asking questions right? and it was an easier way to network yes. because then you're, at, it's, it's like that date, right? Like yeah. where it's like you ask a million questions to the person you're on a date with mm-hmm. and they're like, at the end of the night, they're like, wow, they were so interested in me. They yeah. were so into me, right? They, yeah. they listened, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's a huge, profound impact for the other person, right. and it, it creates a very good memory. Yes, right. So it's totally. this whole, honestly, 
it's um it that's what worked for me and right. again you know it led to bigger opportunities yes. because it wasn't surface thin i wasn't so it, it, if i had to translate it to business wise i wasn't looking for those little flyer jobs yes i was looking for the big corporate rebranding gig yes. with the website and exactly. then the retainer deal thereafter right but that shit takes a little while to it get it takes to, a while right? yes exactly so, and, and if you're not looking for that right off the bat yeah right if you're just focusing on going deep with this person mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that person the beauty of this is that person may know somebody and and that's what ha- and they were happy and to refer exactly. you exactly right because now all of a sudden you're not just a hey how are you oh yeah. i can't get anything from you see ya yeah yeah right? exactly now it's like wow like we sat we got right. to know each other this is somebody that oddly i trust even yeah. though i barely know this person because yeah. you know they were followed it was just that whole genuine thing really goes far it does but the big thing is then i started feeling more fulfilled mm. after every networking event nice. so initially when when i went thinking i'm going to get business going to get business going to, <laughs> you know or i'm gonna miss some contact and i ended up walking out with nothing nothing you're just well, like oh. I, I, it was like wow that was a big fucking waste of time yeah once i started realizing why and, and and changing my whole approach i started enjoying these events yeah things were a lot different um and i think that was a big that was the game changer for yeah. sure yeah and um and now it's like i i look forward to networking events but you know they're not just boring ass network events i, I refer to more like networking opportunities oh. okay it's a little different approach and again yes. it goes back because it, it doesn't always have to be that same event but right we'll talk about that a little bit later but right, right. but the one thing i did learn and again this kind of goes in line with this whole change of thought is the successful people that i did end up meeting throughout my career yeah. right there's a difference right yeah People would go to these, you know, w- these events with the mindset of, you know, how can you help me? Yeah. Right. Well, how can you help me? Right. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm here. Right. And it's like, okay, you know, can I get business from this guy? No. Could he give me a lead? No. Uh, you know what? This, this isn't worth my time. I'm going to see you later. Okay. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Change the mindset from that to more of a, you know, the successful people tended to always say, and I had this time and time again, and it was eerie. It was crazy, but they were like, what can I do? to help you, you. Oh. and it was just right off the bat it was just like holy shit yeah nobody's ever asked that yes. at a networking event yes they would sit we would talk there would be a decent connection and then it was just like what can i do yeah. to help you to help out you. Yeah. and i mean I, I you know i honestly I, I never took any of these people up but i genuinely they, i felt they were genuine yeah right and yeah. i was just like because hey, it was just so different but yes. it was that mentality yeah. that changed everything from them because it's now it's not like i'm not there for anything in particular i'm there to, to get back to receive it's exposed right yeah, and yeah. now they have all my trust my you know a world of you know trust and, and faith and just admiration yeah, yeah. from just that change of mindset just yeah just a little switch yeah, right yeah, yeah. so not networking yeah. but deep networking deep networking i like that okay and That's... then again and it's not what what can you do for me but how can i help you yeah so those two kind of mindsets yeah. kind of changed everything for yeah, me for totally. this right yeah, and now totally. I, I do i look forward to the right networking opportunities yes. yeah. right not just networking all, no right? oh, this, they suck ass <laughs> generally i think the large part of these kind of events are that kind of shark infested mm. waters <laughs> you know what i mean where but yes if you could pick and choose which ones you're going to go to you know you you get the vibe you know what's yeah. going to go on if you're going to i uh, i don't know some pfizer <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> kind yeah, of thing yeah. you know you know you're gonna get in trouble here with yeah this kind right of thing. but if it's more in line with the tech kind of aspect of things like you know your way around the tech industry oh you mean like for our space and such yeah but you know even some of those i hate to say it but i've been to some and Mm. it almost seemed like there was just an obligatory networking period oh really i fucking hated that oh really even in the the tech industry even and we you know we're both talking about the same place you know um yeah but often it's like you know you'd have an event there was a lot about the event it's like okay now we've got half an hour for networking Mm. it's just like well why (laughs) why'd you throw that in there (laughs) it was so obligatory yeah yeah yeah. and it was you know like go naturally this was like you know a um you know top five you know new tech entrepreneur awards yeah and you know you're learning about these entrepreneurs this that, that, okay 20 minutes of networking now <laughs> just like whoa what what <laughs> what what that made no sense so this is where yeah. it was just it was stupid because you'd see the people running around from person to person yeah dude i would just gravitate towards somebody and i'd be like okay tell me about yeah, yourself yeah, let's exactly. learn and you know sometimes i'd hit it big sometimes i wouldn't yeah didn't matter not a big I, deal. Yeah. I still met somebody exactly. really cool that night yeah. right yeah so 
So if I had to do this over, mm. okay, I was always thinking. So now easy for me to say that now, okay, because <laughs> now, now I'm saying I like these networking events, yeah. um, opportunities. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think, what, what would I do if I had to start over, like, you know, and, and give advice? Like, you know, if I had to start over and, and, and do it right from the beginning, yep. how would I network, right? So mm. kind of broke this down into like four parts, which I think can help nice. designers, yeah. okay? And again, because that's what we're here for. We're here to help graphic designers mm -hmm. survive and thrive. and thrive all right all right <laughs> so um so you know broke down four steps and I, this is if i had to restart okay right. so first 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 thing right more than anything is you got to figure out what it is that you want to get out of a networking opportunity yes. okay yes. and this way it's like setting your expectations clear making them clear right from the start right yeah. um whether it's an event whether it's an opportunity whether it's just a general function right are you going there to look for customers yeah are you there to, seriously like yeah let's just say it Trolling. are you going to yeah. troll yeah. for customers <laughs> fine yeah. if that is that's fine it's mm -hmm. a strategy to that are you looking to become better at what you do mm -hmm. at these networking events yeah. right that's fine um you're looking to grow your career yeah okay are you looking to meet a specific person whether it's a generic you know title like a c-suite or yes. a specific specific or, yeah. person from an organization yes. for some reason, yeah, right? Exactly. Or or a specific knowledge set, right? You yeah. have to be really, really, really clear. I think, you know, first and foremost is what it is that you're actually looking for because everybody's looking for something different at career. And, and, and it's okay yeah. if you're looking for clients, mm -hmm. right? When you're starting off, you know, like, you know, early on in the career, chances are we're going to these networking events to look, you know, to fill up your Rolodex, yes. not necessarily just with clients, yeah. but with vendors, with, Yes. right? Other experienced people, right, right in the space. Right. You're looking to basically, you know, make these connections so that when the opportunity comes and you need a hosting provider locally, you need a, a local internet provider, you need a print partner or something, you know these people because yeah. you've already met them. Yeah. And let's face it, you know, again, this whole exposure part, mm -hmm. if they know you, they can help you out. They yes. can probably get you terms a little easier right they yep. could they might even be able to get you better corporate rates or give you a different pricing structure you know yes. just because yep. of that get to know factor right okay huge yep. important right totally. hey, when you get more experienced you might be looking for something else after you've been in the game for a few years right you might be looking for other people like you other business owners yeah. to basically shoot ideas off of find out how they run their business right mm -hmm. again that was valuable for me at times mm -hmm. right when i would be like wow so hiring does it suck for you because it sucks for me <laughs> and then you'd find out yeah it sucks like, yeah, yeah yeah exactly right? you and get a commonality just, yes and yeah <laughs> right so again it's it's it because then at least if you're clear of what it is you're looking for your expectations are never going to be blown on yeah, this right exactly i remember when i started dude i was like totally ballsy and and you know i was within three four five years i would call other agency owners yeah. and be like let's have lunch yeah. and i and I, and it was crazy I, oftentimes they'd be like uh no but <laughs> often it'd be like absolutely yeah, sure, right why not? and it was cool because i did get some good advice yeah. um you know there wasn't anything that was you know so meaningful and concrete nothing compared to what you can find on the internet now exactly. yes. definitely nothing like what we're providing on this podcast this is true this is true but it was just cool that it was just like hey i have this small agency i'm you know i'm just want to meet up you know share some more stories see yeah. if if, if I'm the only one who's going through these things, I'm hoping, yeah. it, and you know, it'll cost you a lunch. It costs you yeah. never your time. I'll buy for lunch and we'll chat. Yeah. And honestly, like all but one said yes. Yeah. The one guy stiffed me that dick, <laughs> and apparently that dick he he did it to other people too. And they're like, really? oh, he did that with oh. you too. That's yeah, kind of a jerk, right? That is kind of a jerk. Without even telling you that he's yeah, he's no, 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 no. At like 45 minutes later, he he like sends me a message. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm geez, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Let's reschedule for next week. I was like, didn't even yeah. believe. I was just like, whatever, burn. <laughs> so, so again, you know, it's it, at least if you have that expectation in place, yes, right. You understand what that networking opportunity is, whether right. it's a meeting you call, yeah. whether you invite somebody for lunch, whether it's an event or not, right. You can set that expectation, yeah. you know, and then you can kind of gear your energy towards that because that's really important. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Because you don't want to be blindsided by, and, and and get your hopes up so high that right you're crushed when this. Right. Right. doesn't happen right. right which is th that's the worst so yeah you got to manage the expectations right so number two okay second thing i would do so once you figure out what it is you're looking for okay mm -hmm. this is where it gets a little tricky especially for designers okay you need to think about what you want to be known for right. or known as mm. okay and like this is this is the this is the tricky part right because it's like i'm not saying niche down right now yes okay not even though i am a huge fan of, of niche <laughs> that's not what this is about yeah this is what is going to make you 
memorable? Mm -hmm. What is going to make you different than the other 50 graphic designers that are showing up somewhere and so that you won't be just based on price point? Right. Okay. And don't give me this customer service bullshit because let's face it, (laughs) that doesn't necessarily work. While it might be true, you can't just say it, right? You have to deliver it and experience people experience it for themselves. That's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a trial run. You know, (laughs) everybody can bullshit that. This is true. Exactly. If you, if you don't have the shit, to, to back it up, then yeah, they'll know that right away. And, yeah, honestly, it's and true. They'll know you're fucking full of it. It's like the goal here is like, you know how it's like, um, you know, you, you, furnace is down. And you're like, yeah. Moss, mm-hmm. do you know anybody can fix a furnace? Yes. And I'm like, dude, I do. I've got, got a guy. guy. I've got this guy. <laughs> so that's what you, that's, that's what you, you want to strive for. Dude. You want to be the furnace guy <laughs> exactly. or the air conditioning guy exactly. or the plumber guy yes. or girl, of course, of all means. You want to, you want to strive to be that yes. person, right? Yeah. Yep. And what, what, cause you have to separate yourself from all the other trades out there. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's what you want to be known for. Yeah. So, so that's challenging. Right. But what you, you don't want to just be another generic graphic designer. Right. Out at a networking event because it's like, oh yeah, my my daughter's a graphic designer, my son's a graphic designer, my mm. my nephew's a graphic designer. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we all know what that feels like. So it's like you know you have to do yourself just justice, right? So so this is where it's like you have to figure out you know what you want to be known for, whether it's production, mm. whether it's you know a hobby, whether it's you know like you, you're a musician, mm-hmm. right? And it would be cool all of a sudden if you're like, you know what, I'm a graphic designer, I'm also a hardcore musician, right? Mm. All of a sudden it's like if you can bring those two worlds together and mm-hmm. be known as as that. That guy, that you know, guy. I know this this music or this graphic designer. He's also a drummer. Yeah. He rocks. You know <laughs> what I mean? Or I know this graphic designer, and she's a total foodie. You know this that it, like you need to basically yeah. or, or or into horror flicks or yes. this, as random odd as it is, you know, even something a little bit more, um, you know, uh, industry specific, like, you know, this guy's got so much information on litho or he's a print, you know, legend or whatever. You want to have something that can be tied to you. Yeah. Okay. That makes you memorable. You know, eh, in fact, for all I care, it could even be purple hair. (laughs) Like really, if you want to, if if you've got beautiful big hair and it's going to be purple, I don't know how that's going to help you in the next stage. But again, you just have to be, you have to stand out a little bit, a little bit. Okay. And again, well, I'm not saying niche, right? Yeah. It makes this makes the next step much easier. Totally. Okay. Totally. So again, um, you know, set yourself apart. Yeah. Somehow, someone. What do you want to be known for? Okay. Right. Three. Number three. Third. Okay. Mm-hmm. The third step to this, third right, step. is you know, find out where the best opportunities are for you to get the word of what you want to be known for. Okay. And what I mean by that is, so we've changed over the years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Network. Okay. Networking isn't. Networking opportunities are not a one size fit all. No, okay, they're no, not the they're same. Not. Yeah. It, it's not always it's a one and cheese den. Yeah. You know, it can be anything from a lunch yeah. to a tech event to mm-hmm. a trade show. Right? You need, now that you have an idea of what you want to be known for, what you're trying to like, you know, have the, have this bubble around you with. You want to now attack those events, those opportunities yeah. that will bring those two worlds together. Right. So you know, to kind of put this in in in. in in like our experience, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. in the past 25 years, yep. okay, we've pretty much had, you know, three very big changes in our company, right? Yep. When we started, we were, you know, we focused on, we, we were known, our, our differentiating factor was, you know, we we're an awesome design agency and we focused on, you know, um, business to business industrial companies, yes. okay? Yep. Industrial companies. Right. We took the shit that nobody wanted, yes. right? Yeah. So, you know, we had, um, you know, injection molding customers. We had manufacturers of, of equipment. We had, you know, plastic injection molding customers. Like we had all the stuff that was just so random, but it was all trade yep. related, okay? Right. So we would go to trade events, we would go to associations and become part of these really niche, boring trade associations, (laughs) right? Because we wanted to be known and stand out as As having something in that space. That's right. Okay. And that's huge for us. It grew, right? Because we had not one, not two, because let me tell you, when you have one, two, three trade customers already, when you're knocking on the door for a fourth or fifth and be mm-hmm. like, hey, we're in this space, yep. you'd be crazy not to use this. At least totally. at least talk to me, right? Yeah. yeah. So number one, right? Then halfway through, you know, there was a, a business recession, trade recession, right? Industrial mm-hmm. recession and everything kind of froze, right? right? So, you know, we then pivoted and we looked around and then we just by fluke started doing some work with a real estate builder. Mm. Okay. And then with that met a real estate agent who, yep. for the record, are really fucking cheap. <laughs> real estate <laughs> agents are so oh cheap. Oh my God, don't, yes. Don't 
go in that yes. market, please. Don't go in that market. But needless to say, we had a cheap agent, but we also had a house builder. And it yeah. was like, okay, well, you know what? Good opportunity here. Let's 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 do a lot more work. Let's learn a lot more and and become part of this, you know, known as this yeah. industry, real estate, contractors world, right? Right. And so then we started, you know, we joined the homeowner association. Oh. Okay. They would have local events and then we would show up and they're like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, oh, you know, we're an agency that works with, you know, in this space. We've got, you know, this home builder is a customer. We've got these, you know, real estate agents. We do some work with contractors. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're known. We're known. So now they could meet another graphic designer that yeah. night yeah. and they're like, oh, yeah, I, I do brochures and this. Yeah, yeah. They could be like, oh, wait, but these guys I met earlier. Yeah, they have. They had this kind of experience. Yeah, they're with such and such here, the yes. home builder. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. So again, yeah. I would look for different industry events there. Shit, dude, I would hang out at Home Depot for an afternoon. <laughs> And that was actually, that was more for me than anything, but, but it's like literally, and I'd hang out in the contractor section and yes. I would talk to contractors no. and I actually got a client from that No way. because again, it was just like, cool. Wow. And, and you know what it was? The guy yeah. pulled in and he had a great big pickup truck and he had one of those big trailers behind it, yep. but it was blank. Oh, and I was like, oh, wow. So I was, is that your trailer or did you yeah. rent it? He's like, no, no, it's my trailer. You know, it's my yeah. business, whatever. I'm like, dude, you're, you you're missing a huge opportunity. This. Exactly. Yes. And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, dude, like, uh, that's a giant billboard. Like, yeah. you know, you need to do this and this and yeah. this. And he's like, wow, I never thought about that. I've been so focused on just doing, doing this. this yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, boom, you know what? Right. I, I, I gave him my card. He gave me his. He called me he on call. the weekend that <laughs> night. He was like, you know what? I talked to my wife. She's saying, why, why don't idea. we think about this? So again, it was awesome. I would find the yeah. networking opportunities yes. based on what I wanted to separate myself from everybody else. Yeah. Right. And then, of course, years later, then, we, you know, when we finally did do our, our final pivot, which is where we are now, mm -hmm. you know, we became a B2B technology yeah. agency. Right. We focus on B2B um, technology companies. Yeah. And um, now that's the best thing for us. Right. So now, you know, we would go to local meetups. Mm -hmm. Right. Be in, and talk to like the engineers and learn about how they like we were using all these networking opportunities, not to necessarily land customers, yeah. but to become known in that space yes. right and to be the go-to people right and that's what works so we would meet the engineers yeah. right find out how they thought you know talk to them mm. you know why why they think differently than designers we would then you know go to the networking events at you know well those were legitimate networking events kind of sucked but yeah. it still got our name out there right yes we would then like to meet us it was just so many opportunities that were specifically made just for that space and yeah. so it was pointless for me to go to these giant generic you know card fests yeah because card they fests. they made they made Make no difference to us right yes. we went to these like targeted ones that were good for us yeah so if your thing was you know um you know i'm a graphic designer and i love music and mm -hmm. music's my passion well then you know what you start going to music events there's this a list there's like a blues fest downtown you hang yeah. out you hang out there and you, you know do what you gotta do there yeah. you know there's a i don't know like there's a couple of music shops locally right you hit yeah. them up for small business mm -hmm. you know there's a venue that's like a concert right you yeah. hit them up because now on the sudden you're tying what you're different at yeah with that networking space that that opportunity exactly. right like you know where to go now to find the work that's right not You're necessarily yeah putting both of these these exactly, elements together right yeah it makes a huge because again what it does it ties in those years you know we've got a follower who um who's incredible at like you know horror old vintage looking horror stuff right Ooh. and it's like he'll throw up his posters but he's always creating stuff for these different events and again, and they're all in his area. So again, it's his passion. He's really good at it. Awesome. And all of a sudden he's doing a movie poster for this night. And yeah. then he's doing a Halloween one for this <laughs> night. I'm sure he fills up the rest of his days with other work. Yes. But it's cool because again, he, he there's no question in that area. He's known for all that. Yeah, right. Exactly. So it's a matter of combining if, you know, if food's your thing, then you've got like markets, you've got food shows, you yeah. know, like all these other little small opportunities that, yeah. you know, you, if you're going to be doing it anyway, have some backing. Yeah. It makes it a hell of a lot easier to make those introductions big time you know and at the very least dude even if you don't end up you know meeting or finding a customer at one of these events you have an interest in this so that event will be more enjoyable that's exactly it and like you said before i mean if you've talked to somebody you would never consider that a waste of time mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. because you you've you poured yourself out and you've talked with somebody for hours or whatever right. you know you never know 
what that person has done. Yep. Maybe, maybe you're absolutely right. That person that you talk to is the nephew, the great long lost nephew of Bella Lugosi <laughs> or something. You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> then you're going to get that movie poster gig right. because, hey, I know a guy who's really interested in that kind of stuff. See? So, a- yeah, it's exactly. exactly so it, right? that's, this kind of thing is never a waste of time. It's never a waste. What you were saying in the beginning with the name tag and the drinks. Oh, and my the, God. And the, hi, my name is. Surface you, fucking that thing. Shit, I, the generic that networking is, events. Yeah, forget that. That's and those are the ones that do more harm than yes. good in my opinion. And if you're in that situation, I would yeah. think. Yep. You can you could tell. You know, Absolutely. You, you get the feelers out. We're, we're designers. We know these kind of things. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Really? Because <laughs> you're not going to need anybody who's... Or, you know, gonna, take, take that whole deep networking approach. Find somebody with a, some sort of common interest and right. just talk their ear off exactly. on them. Ask them a million questions. Exactly. Become their best friend yes. that night. I like that, I like that talk, when you were talking about you, you start talking about kids, your kids and stuff like that. It's like, Absolutely. It's a great unifier too, right? Like Absolutely. You, you talk to somebody be. and then all of a sudden they're human. And, they're human. You know, it's a good It's a good thing. Find it's out what they do for activities. This, yeah, it's not your business. Not, like, don't and make it, it all about it the business. It really does make, and it, and it makes that whole experience much easier. Totally. It stresses totally. off and yes. you're actually enjoying it. Exactly. Because you know, you're leaving that night and you're like, yeah, well, you know, it wasn't like a giant business gain or yeah, anything, but, but I, met I met a really cool and person. And was really cool. Yep, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. And then last but not least, number four, what to do. Okay. And number four goes on forever and ever and ever. All right. Always pay attention to that space locally and be in the know. Yes. Okay. So, and, and this is an important one because just because you're in the space, okay, you can say it, but you mm-hmm. got to actually keep up with that shit. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is, is if you're a graphic designer and you want to be known for, you know, being interested or having some experience in the music space, mm-hmm. well, you should know if there's a blues concert coming downtown. This you is know, true. you should know if there's a new uh, business opening up and it's a music store or if there's a uh, music teachers here or, or you know, like yeah. a, a whatever music startup there. Yeah. I don't know why I'm resonating music. <laughs> yeah, I am not say, musically it's, inclined. It, it's because of Martin Page. I <laughs> Martin think we Page. <laughs> The house of stone and light, stone buddy. And light, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it's true. And how many times this has actually come back for? So again, being into this whole tech space, yeah. I just I I, I read I read a lot about mm-hmm. you know all the new startups that are coming, new deals that are happening, and randomly it's like within like weeks often of, of hearing this of you know this something happens to a company, mm-hmm. I'll meet somebody from that company yeah. out at another opportunity, and and, and I'm just like right away I'm like Thank oh. You. This is awesome. Good this is your you company. For yeah. Good for you. Yeah. I, and all of a sudden, yeah. it's just like they're like, "Wow!" Oh. <laughs> and you just start talking their ear off, yes. and you start asking them. And this has landed us a lot of business. Yes. And it's just like you know. And again, it's you know, I get I get the whole referral part, mm-hmm. but it's that whole being in the know. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if if you want to resonate and own a little bit of this space, you've got to be in the know. That's exactly it. Like that's the thing is our referrals that we've got from our major company. Yep. It's not because. Well, you know, they're good. Their time is good or anything like that. No, yep. they know this fucking space. Like it's yes. nobody's business. So yes, exactly. I think you guys should go with these guys. And, and exactly. how many times has that happened to us, right? Exactly, Jeez, exactly. I mean, you got you to gotta know the shit. That's the, that's the thing. But it's exactly like you said. It's like if you're, your, your business is graphic design and your interests are monster movies or music or something yeah. like that or tech – it doesn't matter. Whatever that is, you can combine those two kind of things and really niche out in that should. kind of space. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So. yeah. That was a really loud cork opening. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was crazy. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now we're into the ASMR portion of our- Wait. <laughs> hey, ASMR. <laughs> Brought to you by yes, seventeen ninety two. Oh, dude, the French Revolution. <laughs> the French Revolution. <laughs> Needless to say, there yes. is a way to actually make it around these networking events, and I mean, on mm. a whole, I get it. Um, you know, it sucks for designers. I'm on already whole, looking forward to the next one. Really, with, yeah. armed with this knowledge. Well, because again, it, <laughs> just change. It's change of it attitude, changes right? Everything. It's just, I know. And I mean, okay. For some people, I mean, I think even borderline for a long time, I was an introvert at these events. I would be the guy hanging you? out on the uh, on me, right? On. Yeah, I would hang out at the edge. You know, I didn't like just kind of just jumping in the middle and being wow. that guy introducing. Yeah, 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 I was a little bit. So, but it is possible to still network as an introvert, depending on even even if you're crazy. Yeah. introvert right? right it is possible right like mm. obviously don't go to large mindless events if you're yes. an introvert yes okay Fair and again and, and in all fairness a lot of designers are introverts because again very deep empathetic people totally. right this this is part of our space yeah. right yeah. Yeah. but networking is still very important yeah right and mm-hmm. and working networking opportunities are very important right so yeah. you know don't do large events 
right? Go to stuff yeah. a little bit more small, um, you know, a little bit more private, a little bit more, you know, like quaint, right? Don't, don't, you know, put yourself into like a giant room with a hundred, you know, hungry, you know, card yeah. sharks out there. Cause exactly. that's not going to do you any good. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, if you have to right, bring a friend, you know that's, what I mean? Like awesome. literally, cause yeah. then, then you won't feel out of place. Yeah. Even if you and your friend end up having a great time, it was a night out. It was Worst a case scenario. Yes. But if you and a friend are chatting, 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 mm. all of a sudden people tend to join those conversations. That's right? true. Right. So as an yeah. introvert, you know, I mean, that's fine. Work around it. Bring a friend to one of these events, mm. you know, bribe them with, you know, wine and cheese <laughs> and a free ticket. I don't know. Um, yeah. Hopefully somebody with the same interest, but <laughs> do that. Um, you know, if you have to, right, um, find you know, smaller events that focus in on things that you have interest in. Yes. Right. So like we we're talking about a huge networking opportunity, you know, if uh, there is like um, women in tech awards. Yes. yes. And, uh, you know, that doesn't Which work we well for here. me, unfortunately, yeah. no, if I go in but, there. But, but that's a perfect space for for women who are into this space. It's, it's and, neat. So if, yeah, if, yeah. if somebody is, you know, a woman designer, or, yeah. you know, she's starting up and she's an introvert. That's yeah. a perfect that's event great. to go and network and yes. feel like part. So, you know, or, or if it's uh, like we go back to like food events or this mm -hmm. or that. Right. It's something. Because all of a sudden, even though if you're an introvert, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to talk about something that you're passionate in yes. or you have interest in, yeah. right? Yeah. Heck, if you're a total sci-fi nerd and there's like a local comic con, jump into that. We have you're one here. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I mean, Kitch Kitchen is only Kitchen like, like 250,000 people and there's yeah. a cool little one and yeah. it's fun. And yeah, it's great. Going, I can talk to those people for hours <laughs> and graphic design never comes up. Yes, but still. <laughs> but you still get to know their business. And then afterwards, I could, you yeah. know, show up at their shop and be like, hey, yeah. you need help. Yeah. I can help yeah. you. I you know, like, guess what? Remember me? Yeah. So, um, but really, right. And then, and then worst case scenario, yeah. right. And this kind of goes back to what I was doing originally when I started, right. Mm -hmm. If you really are an introvert and, and these kind of events, you know, send like, you know, fear in your body, anxiety, fine, right. Yeah. Then do something a little bit more personable and, and make an effort to invite one person out for lunch mm -hmm. a month. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's it. great. Think about it. Right. Oh, yeah. That's more you're seeing you're better in yes. small little, you know, take that person out. Like I would do for these business owners, right. Yeah. It doesn't have to always be a business owner, yeah. but it could be a vendor. You know, and yep. again, you're on a good side of a vendor. They're a great source of leads. Okay. Yes. And again, we've had referrals from vendors because again, we're, and they're like, do you mind? Do you mind? Like, absolutely yeah, not. Yeah. Like send them our way. Why totally. wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. So again, make an effort to do something like that. You know, leave an impression mm -hmm. on them, right? Get to actually know them. Don't keep it just about business, you know, and then, and then follow up with them afterwards, yeah. right? After that meeting, you know, hey, go back and well, hit right. them up on LinkedIn. Yeah, exactly. Right? If they're on Twitter, follow them on Twitter, yes. right? Follow them and, and participate in their posts and, yeah. and kind of help them out with, the, you know, like if they post something, thumbs up, you know, yeah. or give them a, a really intentful, meaningful comment. Yes. You know, not like good work. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> surface thin, but seriously, yeah. it is possible as an introvert, yes. right? It, it takes a little bit of effort and you, there are going to be a couple of things that you're going to have to overcome. I had to, this is true, but I mean, again, it's, um, it's totally possible, mm -hmm. you know, in some ways it's even more personal. It kind of goes, uh, plays a little bit better with that whole deep networking idea totally, totally. concept than with this other way. So yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely possible. Yeah, exactly. And I think that, that the thing with that, the, the older you get, the more, you know, interested you are in people anyway so mm. it's 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 a little easier as you get older as when you're young it's pretty tough but still yeah, yeah. i mean look at it exactly like that is just this is a friend yep that you haven't met yet yeah it's, well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> great <Yeah. laughs> That's so funny. Getting all, yeah, <laughs> getting all uh, zenny on everybody here. I think uh, that might have been a Simpsons quote too. Uh, yeah. However, feels like it for some <laughs> yeah, reason coming like from you, dude. <laughs> feels like it. So some final yeah. tips, you know, final mm -hmm. tips, of course, um, you know, when you are meeting people at these networking opportunities, these, you know, these new people, right? You know, leave an impression. Yeah. Try harder and harder never, right? Yeah. Like try not to be forgettable. That's right. Don't, Don't have be a Kurt Cobain like we were talking about <laughs> earlier, <laughs> right. right? Don't be all shoegazy and, yeah. no, and just be, be a guy the sleeping dance in the bar court. that you be, went to. That's right. Right. Go to the dance bar, <laughs> put on some Ace of Base and some Aqua, <laughs> yes. do the Macarena yes. and be memorable. People will remember that. <laughs> but no, for real, right? Be engaged, yeah. show interest, yeah. show expertise yes. if you can. Talk to it, of course, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, I find, um, you know, manners, be cordial, really oh, yeah. works. Totally. Because people like to deal with people that, you know, are, I get it, you know, sometimes we're a little rough around the edges, yeah. um, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, you're what right. What the hell is that supposed to Why be? Why did I try to let that one... <laughs> 
screw that. <laughs> but at least we still ask a lot of questions and we do listen intensively. Okay, That's don't worry true. about the manners. <laughs> but most importantly, be likable. Yes. Right? Yes. Because again, that's that's the part that you have to, like, you want to be memorable, but for a good reason. Yeah. Not for a bad one. Exactly. My, I went to a networking event once, and um, and it was a, a design over brews event, right? So oh. we, I, I wasn't sure why I was going, right? I was invited, and I was like, okay, I'd like to go hang out with a couple of designers and see what that's like. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I got there and, you know, immediately realized that it was like more student level. It was oh, like a like lot a of you know, 19 to 21 year olds, right? And, you know, even when I went to that, right, I was still in my mid 30s. I was like, oh, creepazoid. I'm, I'm not going to pull that one off. <laughs> Off, right so but you know they were really nice and we chatted you know with a lot of people and yeah. there's these two older dudes right. right at the bar you know and they were probably in within the same age range as i was Close. right yep. like yep. mid to late 30s right and um you know and i, I went up and i was like oh geez like you know like God. don't we stand yes, out because we're like you know the creepazoids <laughs> so then i was I introduced myself uh, right yep. and the one guy was a graphic designer from one of the bigger agencies in town and the other mm -hmm. guy was a photographer and um they were both kind of dicks Right. Kind of like it was like, I'm like, why are you here if mm -hmm. you're being dicks? And the one guy's like, oh, like, you know, isn't uh, don't you have like a female partner in your company? And I was like, no, yes. <laughs> I don't. It's my company. And yeah. he's like, are you sure? <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I started it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but hey, uh, whatever. Do your research. And, bud. And, but he didn't even yeah. follow up with it. He was just like, oh, and then he kind of stopped the conversation and didn't really want to continue talking. Oh. I was just like, 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 like he thought I was lying or something. Yes. Right. I was like, okay, whatever. Right. So needless to say, um, I left that event overall pretty disappointed because it yeah, was a totally. stupid networking event. Yes. But the funny fucking thing is, okay, so <laughs> he was memorable, but in a bad way. Oh, okay? and this so, is going to come by, back to bite him in the Right? Ass. <laughs> so what happened is it. years later, yep. okay, and we're mm -hmm. talking, it was like three, four years later, maybe even five years later, right? Yeah. Um, I was working with a business coach or whatever for a little while, and and I was looking for, you know, another experienced designer, right? Mm -hmm. um, a senior one. I think this was yeah. prior to you even joining. Oh, was it? Yeah, okay. I think yeah. so. Wow. And, and then uh, he came back and he's like, hey, um, um, I've got this guy and he's a really good guy and he's awesome. And I think he'd be great for your company. I was like, okay, mm, send over me nice. a LinkedIn, Sounds sends good. me his LinkedIn. And it was that fucking it was guy that dude. because the oh. big company he was working at basically laid off. Right? right. And ageism is a real part in this industry. Yeah. And based on his winning fucking personality, <laughs> right. That obviously didn't take him too far. <laughs> so now he was looking for work and I guess he was, so then, you know, a couple of days later, business goes, Hey, um, did you look at who I sent you? You know, uh, whatever. I was just like, oh, yeah, I've, do I have a story for you? <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't even want to talk to the guy. I don't want yeah. to consider. It. And I said the event and, and he was like, and the business coach was kind of, he's like, Oh, he that goes, well, like you know, he goes, I know the guy that's, yeah. that's really odd, yeah. but, um, you know, you should probably give him a second chance. Cause he's good at what he does. And, and, and you know, like what? And I was like, dude, no. That impression was so fucking shitty. Yes. I'm not interested. Right. And I guarantee you, like, you know, he probably was really good at what he did. He, I, yeah. Probably but still, was. But still, I mean. His networking opportunity, he blew his networking he opportunity blew it with me. Exactly. And that's why you always should be nice to people, no matter what. If they're being, you know, if they're, if you could. If you would come up to me and we're like, hey, how's it going, guys? Like, you so been, true, it's right? Like, Finally, okay, this is good. This is, oh, you know. So true. But yeah, like, that's just, that's so can't sad. Can't do that, right? Like, you, you can't it's that whole that opportunist shit. thing. I'm not, yes. you know, you can't, you can't step on people exactly. in this career because you know what? Those people will take the first chance to step yes, on you that's to get right. to where they want to get, get to. Where to where they want to, yeah. Or, yeah, as you're coming down, too. Right? Oh, absolutely. And you need right? a hand. Yeah. <laughs> You better be nice to everybody. That's right. So be likable and be memorable, right? That's great advice. And then, and then, most importantly, after you meet somebody, yeah. most important, if you're not doing this right now, shame on you. Okay, mm -hmm. go back, mm -hmm. add them to LinkedIn, mm -hmm. find out if they're on Twitter, find out if there's anywhere professional. Don't creep them on Facebook or anything. <laughs> That's a little too. Weird. Don't go too personable, but. Go business wise and yeah. anything that public that they're putting out, like they're putting on Twitter thoughts or yeah. they're putting out thoughts on, on LinkedIn, yeah. you know, follow, keep in touch. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be their best friend. You don't have to spend hours every day on LinkedIn, but, yeah. you know, acknowledge that you're keeping up with these people. And yeah. like, it gets hard. Like, you know, I'm, I've, I've got a list of like over a thousand people. Yeah, friggin like, yeah, no, I think I'm say, actually over two, yeah, but the, I know, but the thing is the yeah. ones that I keep current with and I, and I keep, especially the customers and yeah. whatever, right. It's like, you're constantly thumbing a high five, you yeah. know, I have a great job at this. Congratulations. on this is what you were looking. And again, it's just, it's showing that you are still engaged. Yes. Right. Exactly. So those are the most important things, you know, hit them up, be yeah. engaged and then be memorable. Be, honestly do that. And I think with that and this change of mindset, 
Networking, networking is a piece of cake for designers. Totally. Like it, it would have helped that guy <laughs> yeah. if he, his mindset was changed, right? Uh, honestly, it was. Totally. I don't know what he was, imp- what it, he was it, planning on going there for. Why was he even there if he yeah. was going to act like yeah, that? Yeah, if you're going to be a dick to people that are come, coming up to you. Maybe he just why went you to an- stroke his ego or something. Maybe, Maybe. you know, because I'm sure well, some people. Yeah. There's that hoity-toity kind of, yeah. you know, that, that agency was was quite the big deal around here. So. Yeah, yeah, or at least they, they thought they were They anyway. thought they were a big yeah, deal. Right? But it's like, yeah, you never know. It's, it's, like a, it's like a prize fighter, right? Like, yes. you know, even Muhammad Ali had his day in the sun, and yep, yep. he was kind of sad at the end of his career. Right, and, and that's he was exactly like the greatest it. fighter around. Yes, so. Tyson, yes, same thing, Tyson, right? Tyson, exactly. Exactly, the yes. same thing. You've got you, you've got to remember exactly. that. Exactly. You know, while, while you know, your career could be long and fruitful, right, mm-hmm. there's going to be a peak. And how long you're at that peak is right. really up to you this on how long you, you know, obviously last week's episode, we talked about like, you know, career killers. Mm-hmm. This one is like networking, you know, or, or like um, this career is, this, killer for sure. This is yeah. right in line with that. Totally. Like, yeah. You know, not continually evolving your network and, yeah. and the people that, you know, I mean, dude, this can really make or break a, a career. Big time. And again, while I wasn't a huge per, while I, I'm not a big advocate of networking events. Yes. Agreed. This approach has helped me get to the right events to meet the right people to keep us going as long as we have. Yes. So that's why I'm recommending this this approach by all means. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, that totally is awesome. Yeah, exactly. Don't waste your time with the shit stuff that you know it's not oh going to work. Oh, my God, right? <laughs> Fucking card sharks. <laughs> exactly. Jeez. Yeah, if some, if some dude comes up to you and says, what do you do? And you say oh, you're a graphic designer and they say, okay, see ya. <laughs> then, yeah, you got to get out. You got to be out of there too run book yeah, it yeah, right exactly because <laughs> nothing's gonna happen out of that but oh, yeah, who yeah. knows i don't know yeah, yeah i mean I don't. yeah nah fuck it yeah fuck them fuck, fuck them. them fuck them <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope Woo-hoo. I hope you got something out of this one. Again, a little different. We're talking about a little bit more high-level business stuff versus designing stuff, but this is all in part of the design career. Yeah. This is the, you know, everything that we talk about isn't always about design. Networking, networking is a guarantee all the way through your, right? your, your, your career. And you yes. have to do this in yes. your career, right? Totally. God totally. knows it sucks, but it's something that we have to do. So by all means, if you got something good out of this, give us a high five on Instagram. Let us know what you think. You know, share us, leave us a review on, um, on you know, on Apple and Spotify and something by all means and yeah. um yeah share us along with your friends yeah and the people that you don't like <laughs> yeah and the people you don't like <laughs> sorry i keep you i keep <laughs> going there. I just, oh no that's i good. love that <laughs> torture them by sending us to them, to them exactly <laughs> again we're not for everybody and that's yeah, okay because not everybody's right. for us either that's true and i'm that's happy with that dude that's true and uh, and to our three listeners in Myanmar, thank you. You brought <laughs> yes. us to number two yes, in marketing. Yes, number two. Woo! That's awesome. And number four in Canada too. And number four in Canada, our home country. Our home country. That's kind of fun. That's pretty awesome. All right, yeah. I like this shit. Yes. All right, everybody. Okay. Well, uh, after this, go to a networking opportunity, find a new opportunity, go meet some people, and yes. and start enjoying this. I yes. think uh, I think it's going to work out. For That's you. right. With this new mindset, this new mindset, you're going to go gyms, yeah. places that you know. Seriously, oh, these are game changers. It's going to be awesome. Game changers. Totally. Yeah, totally. Are. Yes. All right, everybody. All right. My name is Massimo. And hey, my name is Sean. Stay creative and stay angry. Peace.